Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Now, opioids are in the news quite a bit. I'm surprised we didn't address this on the um, State of the Union address, or maybe they did and I just missed it. Tell me about opioids in oral health. So uh, dentists prescribe about 12% of all opioid prescriptions. And for the teenagers and young adult age groups, dentists prescribe about 45% of all opioid prescriptions. And there's a Simple explanation, that's the age group where you're going to be more likely to have your wisdom teeth removed. And we know that uh, based on our United Healthcare data, 70% of those you know, types of procedures will be associated with an opioid prescription. And for that age group, you're at higher risk of uh, addiction because your brain is still maturing, so you're susceptible to those effects. And that age group is also uh, higher risk of uh, of uh, misuse and abuse. And so I want my audience to know that Dr. Ted Wong is here to talk about opioids in oral health. He's the chief dental officer for United Healthcare. Okay, so doctors are prescribing opioids. This is what I never understood. If the doctors understand that we can get addicted, why isn't there more control for us? So you know, as a, <clears throat> as a dental professional myself, uh, we're very focused on providing high quality care as well as managing uh, pain and discomfort during the procedure and after the procedure. So there will be certain circumstances where opioids are indicated and what we're trying to educate uh, providers and uh, the public that there are uh, means to reduce or eliminate the use of opioids. Uh, there are opioid alternatives, and uh, instructions on how to safely dispose of opioids. Okay, and I gotta ask you one more question on that. But because opioids are so addictive, so much in the news, you guys understand that we don't understand as a patient. Before opioids came on the scene, weren't there other alternatives? So I think opioids have always been around just in different forms uh, and what we're trying to educate uh, our, again, our, your, your listening audience, that uh, if you are going in for a dental procedure or maybe your kid's going in for their, their wisdom teeth extractions and you're presented with the potential to be prescribed an, an opioid, then have a, a serious discussion with your dentist. Ask questions uh, about the opioids. Uh, if, if, you know, the first question I would ask is, do you really need an opioid? Uh, or is there another option for pain management? If an opioid is indicated, then ask about how you can limit the, the number of pills or the strength or dosage of those pills. We, all, we always recommend going low and going slow. Uh, the CDC uh, recommends that uh, no more than three days supply of an opioid. Uh, that should be sufficient to manage any severe pain that you may have following a dental surgery. Uh, you start going beyond three days, then your chances of addiction start increasing. And really, if you're having severe pain more than three days after a dental procedure, then you really want to go see the dentist and see what's going on. That's true. But if we have opioids left over, how do we dispose of them? So, you know, when you get those opioids, make sure you keep them blocked up, keep them out of the hands of kids, don't share them with, with uh, anybody else. Uh, if you have unused opioids, then uh, you can give them back to the pharmacy, you can give them to law enforcement, and the, the pharmacy themselves can provide bags specific for disposing of opioids. They inactivate the uh, ingredients in an opioid pill. Or you could simply mix it with water and an unappealing substance like uh, kitty litter or uh, coffee grinds. Just grind them all up, throw, them, throw it into a uh, sealed bag, and then you can throw that in the trash. You definitely want to avoid 
uh, just simply throwing unused pills into the trash because then they can be retrieved uh, and misused. Okay, Dr. Ted Wong, you got a place to send my audience online? Yes, uh, United Healthcare has some great resources on opioids. Go to newsroom.uhc.com and click on the opioids tab, and then you can find a lot of information on this important topic. Dr. Ted Wong, thank you for a great topic. I'm sure we'll be talking about this again. Thank Have you a great for having day. me. You too.